Hi everyone. All right, so I'm planning to do an intro clip for this, but maybe I'll just talk about it here in case that I don't because that happens sometimes. This is going to be my Faro Feb vlog, um, at least part one. We'll see if I do multiple. I'm planning to do kind of what Avery um, from Avery Love Books is going to do and that I'm not going to like weekly vlog for this because I have a I have other books that I need to read besides just fantasy but more what I'm going to do is whenever I'm reading a fantasy book do an update and so this will either go up like I'll have multiples go up or I will just have it go up at the end of February and have everything that I read um, but I did start one of my Faro Feb reads I've actually read two of them already um, and it is uh, the day before that it starts so it's January 31st actually but tomorrow I have a really busy day and I don't know that I'll have time to like film a clip so I figured I'd start it now um so I created a two spinner wheels for February um I just really got into spinner wheels really recently and I've made a whole bunch of them and so I have one for my Faro Feb reads as well as my regular February TBR and whenever I finish a book from that TBR I'll spin it to find out what my next one is so I spun it just to test it out and then I ended up wanting to read the book that I spun so I did it so I actually have already read Soul Fire by Juliet Cross and the reason why I wanted to read it, besides that, I mean, I love Juliet, is that I'm going to be interviewing her on Valentine's Day, which will either have already happened or this is going up before it happens, whatever. Again, I don't know the schedule yet. I'm just going to film and then use the stuff where I find the place to do it. Um, also, if you don't know what my TBR already is, I have a video up for that that explained the books that I'm going to try to read for Power Fab. But Soul Fire is the beginning of her Nightwing trilogy, which I ended up actually reading the entire trilogy already. But Soul Fire was on my TBR for this um, to read an, a Faro Feb author as well as um, some other prompts. And they were all about 150 pages. And so I bought them all on audio and they were only about like two hours of listening. They were four hours of listening time, four to five hours, but I listen at two times speed. So they each only took me about two hours to listen to. Um, and so I just burned through all three of them and I really, really love them. Um, I'm planning to read some more of Juliet's books, hopefully before I get to interview her as well. So that's another reason why I was like, well, I might start this early because while I'm in the mood for it, I just want to rip through as many as I can. So I did do that and I love them. So then I spun the wheel again and I got Radiance by Grace Draven, which I'm, was, I'm, it's been on my TBR for literal years because so many of my friends say that it's a great slow burn. It's a friends to lovers. It's a fantasy romance. It's a just, yeah, it's arranged marriage stuff. And so I really wanted to give it a go. And so this is the one I started it last night. Um, I started it last night. And I only read about three chapters before I fell asleep, but I got through their cute initial meeting and them deciding that they are going to be friends and them deciding that they're not going to consummate yet because they're like, we don't need to rush into this. And I just loved how rational they talk about it and how willing they are to believe the best of each other and just that they're so willing to try and be friends. And I just really loved that. I, I love angst and I love that, but I've been reading a lot of hate to love lately because I've been reading mafia and dark romance and dark romance for the most part leans towards hate to love because there's always something crazy happening um, in the relationships. But it was really fun to, to be reading a book where they, where they just want to be friends first. Like it's really fun. It made me really happy. So yeah. I'm enjoying it a lot and I just want to get this vlog started. Um, I'm going to kind of go wherever the wheel takes me um, and work my way through these. I have a lot of the Faro Feb authors on here. here. I can show you one of my TBRs. I I do things really retro, but I got these really this really big notebook from Barnes & Noble and I'm obsessed with it. It has really thick paper and I use it to make a lot of my lists and stuff of like video plans because I can map it out. Um, 
I really enjoy doing that. Um, but anyway, this, I have both of the binger boards on here. I'm going to try to, to completely fill both of them out. I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, but so I already read Soul Fire and then I'm starting Radiance right now. And so some other books on my TBR, the only one that I probably will read out of order, even though it's on my spinner wheel, is that I want to start Akawar soon because I want to get through Akawar and Akafoss before A Court of Silver Flames comes out. So I may start that whether or not I land it on the wheel. Um, I'm also buddy reading that with Crystal, but the way we do buddy reads is we mostly just like check in on them and stuff. So yes, that's how it works. But anyway, that's what's happening. And now I'm going to go back to, I have to plan a few things. I ended up spending the whole day yesterday. I barely read it all. I only read for the last like couple hours of the day and I was reading a really long book, which ended up being really great, but it just, the day went by so fast. So today I am going to enjoy, there's a couple live shows that my friends are doing that I'm going to watch, but otherwise I'm planning to just chill and read. Um, I'm in the middle also of some non faro fed books that I want to get through before tomorrow. But again, I figured I'd do an update because I'm going to be really busy the next couple days. And so I'm going to be reading while I'm busy because I'm always reading. But I thought I would do an update at the start of it. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what happens with this. There are so many fun events happening. And I just hope this is a really successful readathon. So we'll check back in soon. Hello. It is February 2nd. And I have finished a well, I finished one new read for the readathon. As soon as I start recording, I yawn. It's so annoying. The same thing happens whenever I like do a voice memo because I will talk to some of my friends. And as soon as I start doing that, I yawn. It's so annoying. But anyway, I finished Radiance last night. I really enjoyed that. I understand why it's so loved by everyone. Um, it is a very like slow burn friends to lovers, just like everyone will tell you. Um, I think I ended up giving it four stars. I think where it misses for me is that the fantasy world wasn't really doing it for me. And so because it's a slow burn in the beginning, um, it's really focusing on what's happening in the fantasy world. And since that really wasn't working for me, it ends up being like a little bit of a slog through certain parts. But a um, 100 pages in, I wasn't vibing it. But then 200 pages in, I was completely hooked. It didn't happen exactly at those points. Like, there was parts in the beginning that kept me going. And then I just loved watching their relationship build. So I understand those books mean so much to each other. And I probably will continue the series. But I'm not feeling the urge to right now. So that also tells you something. So where I'm at right now. Now I'm in the middle of two books for Faro Feb. And I'm about to start another one. We'll see. So I'm I'm doing my reread of A Court of Wings and Ruin. I started this the other night and I'm reading about 50 to 100 pages of it a day. Um, and then I will probably binge through A Court of Frost and Starlight like the day before A Court of Silver Flames comes out because that one's only like 150 pages and it won't be hard to do that at all. But I am annotating this one and I'll tell you guys. I was messaging Crystal the other day, who she also loves these books. Like, I'm buddy reading this with her. Um, and, like, it's just, like, coming home. Like, opening the pages again. And I'm in love. Just reading their name. There's this one part in early on in the chapter where, um, in A Court of Wings and Ruin, where Feyre is in the spring court. Um, and she's just listing all the names of her loved ones so that she will be focused. And I was almost in full sobs. I, I, it was just a couple tears trickling, but I was almost in full sobs because it just is so good. And I, everyone's allowed whatever opinions they want, but I think Sarah J. Mass writes a great story because there are a few stories in my life. That when I open the book, 
when I open the pages, it feels like I've come home. And that's how I feel when I read those books. And so I'm so excited to read more and I can't wait to continue. And it really makes me want to do a reread of The Throne of Glass as well, because my read of that series was so spread out. And I know that I missed some things, but I mean, I'm totally focused on um, the Akatar world first. And I can't wait to see what's next. See, aren't these covers beautiful? They're just so pretty. I love them so much. So then the other one I'm in the middle of, and this one's more of a paranormal, um, but it is Desolation Road by Christine Feehan. I made it about uh, 120 pages in to that. And that's the one that I'm going to read. So tonight there is a reading sprint on Carrie's channel. Um, and so this is what I'll probably read on Carrie's channel. Um, right now I'm just waiting for my dinner to get here. I ordered some pizza. I really was craving pizza and wine, and so that's what I'm going to have tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read another about 50 pages of this, and then that. And then on my spinner wheel, I spun my spinner wheel, and the next one that I picked was um, A Touch of Stone and Snow. But I'm also buddy reading that with Crystal, and she's not really in the mood yet. And I know I can start it whenever I want to, but since I am already reading one of our buddy reads right now, I might wait a little bit. Um, and so I might start one of the ones I have on my Kindle because I do have, um, Harriet's book on my Kindle and I have, um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I do have three or four of mine are a TBR that's on my Kindle. So I might do that next. So this is how my process goes, guys. I jump all over the place, but that's where we're at with reading. I finished one. I also included Soul Fire like on my um, on my bingo board though, because that was a read for this, and I wanted Juliet's book to like be on my bingo board, um, even though I read it a couple days early. But that's me, guys. I'm an impatient person. This is how it works. So, anyway, that is our Faro Fab update, and I'll check back in. Hey, <laughs> I'm a hot mess. It is Saturday morning of the 6th, so it's been a while since I've updated. Um, I mean, I knew that was going to happen because I planned to like spread these out, but also a lot has happened obviously since then and I've read a few. So I actually had to go back and like watch the last clip I recorded because I forgot what I had talked about. So that's part of the problem of doing like a month long vlog is forgetting what you said. But all right, so the last thing I talked about was Radiance and that I was reading um, Akawar. I am now 250 pages into this. Um, I plan to read some more of this today. But I also have DNF'd a book already. I DNF'd a Desolation Road um, by Christine Feehan, which was kind of a bummer because I was supposed to read an arc for Reckless Road and I just have no desire to read it. I'm just not vibing with that form of an MC. Um, I just cannot connect with the people. And I think part of it is that Christine Feehan writes in third person and I just don't always vibe with that. I usually like to be in first person with people. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't working for me. Like, I don't need an excuse. I DNF'd it and it sucked because I had to um, return the arc and be like, yeah, I'm not going to read this because I haven't like, now it's two out of four that I've DNF'd in the series. And so I think we're just going to have to part ways because even the promise of the role play wasn't enough for Desolation Road to work for me. And that's a bummer. So then I read The Last Wolf by Maria Vale. This was a three star book. Um, it was told in a very interesting point of view. Um, this was about a wolf named Silver and then an outsider named Tiberius, who is a half wolf, half human. So that's called a shift instead of like being a pure wolf I guess I don't I mean because they still shift as well um, so 
it's just a weird difference to me. Um, the world setup was confusing. Um, the the overall plot arc was a little. I didn't know where it was going until the last like 40, 50 pages of the book, and I don't know. It was a quick read though. I'm glad I read it. I'm really wanting to try a lot of the Faro Fab authors, Faro Fab authors, um, and that one just didn't really work for me. Um, and now I'm in the middle of three reads. Um, I've started another Lexi C. Foss. This one's called Blood Laws and it is a angel book um, which is one of the prompts for Pharaoh Feb and it was one of the prompts that I like didn't have a book picked for. So I am only about 60 pages into like a 450 page book. Her books are long y'all. They're long. And so the setup is that there's this girl who there's something special about her and we she loses her parents when she's really young and so her memory gets wiped and she gets given to a new couple so I'm assuming there's something pretty special about her for the fact that they wiped her memory and then sent her to another couple and now in in present time um, this is like 17 years later or something her friend has just been murdered really brutally. And then this angel, which we don't, I mean, we, as like the reader can figure out this an angel, shows up and is like going to help her figure out what happened to her friend, maybe? I'm not completely sure yet. I'm, I have been reading that book when I was kind of distracted. Um, today I plan to really dive into that one. I'm making a lot of plans for a Saturday and those don't always play out because Saturdays end up being my like busiest days. So, um, but anyway, so I've just started that one. I also am 120 pages into The Orchid Throne. This is by Jeffy Kennedy, who is another Pharaoh Feb author. Um, you also will probably know this by now because this vlog is going up afterwards, but she's going to be on one of my live read-alongs. Um, I, okay, so speaking of first person point of view, I love reading in first person point of view. I also love dual POV. I really do. Um, this one is dual POV, but the, the problem, and I'm not <clears throat> blaming the author for this, but it's making for a tough reading experience. The beginning of chapters do not delineate between which POV that it is, but it's first person POV. So that means there's no like, dialogue tags to delineate it either and I'm listening to this one and it's all one narrator and there are no dialogue tags at the beginning like there's no heading that says this is Ophelia's point of view um now we are in Conry's point of view because those are the two characters so when I listen to it on audio if I miss the chapter change we're still in first person point of view using eyes and, and me's, but I don't know who's who until a couple paragraphs into each chapter. So I'm not, I'm trying not to hold that against the author, but I will say, well, I mean, I don't hold it against the author. I'm not like, but I will say it makes for a very confusing reading experience as an audiobook listener and even reading it. Um, because you assume that it's changing chapter for chapter. Um, but I also, like, the world around them, I don't know well enough to, like, immediately know who's who yet. But I'm still holding on to this one because we're getting close to them meeting each other. So that's the thing. I'm 120 pages in, and our main characters haven't even met. They have heard of each other, and that a possible alliance between the two of them could be helpful. But that's as far as we're at. Um, I don't understand the world. It's the orchid throne. I know it has to do with she has some kind of flower powers. <laughs> um, but I want to at least get to when they meet each other before I DNF. Because I think, because I know this is supposed to be like in a marriage of convenience to kind of help them both get what they want. Um, and she has something that he needs from her. And she could marry him to save her from her possible other arranged marriage. That would be really to a really horrible person so 
anyway, I am not willing to give it up yet, but I'm getting close to DNFing this one because I don't want to pick it up. I want to read other stuff more. Um, and that's kind of a sign, right? And then the other fantasy book I'm in the middle of, I'm in the middle of four guys. It's a lot. <laughs> this is how I do it is the Stray Prince came out a couple days ago and let me bring you closer now. The Stray Prince is the second book in the Royal series by Ella Field. It's the sequel to A King So Cold, which was one of my favorite fantasy reads from last year. Um, I thought this was going to be a series. It thankfully is only a duet. I don't know if she's going to continue in this world or not because it's a pretty amazing fey world that's set up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to continue. I made it to the halfway point before I fell asleep last night. Um, and I just really enjoy the couple in it. Um, finding out who the actual stray prince was, was not expecting. Um, and so that was a really cool surprise to me. And so I'm excited to see how it all plays out now that we have that knowledge. So there you go. That was kind of a long update. I'll try not to go so long before I update again. But as you can see, I'm in the middle of a lot of stuff and I kept meaning to check in. But I also was like, yeah, but nothing really awesome has happened yet. Um, I'm expecting the Lexi Foss book to be amazing and I'm expecting the Stray Prince to be amazing. Um, so hopefully once I finish those, I'll have something more exciting to say. So now it being Saturday, I'm meeting a pair of friends at the gym to make sure that I work out today. I just had breakfast, um, which was great. And then I need to come back and shower and I need to film my weekly wrap up. And then I need to film two other videos I have planned to film. And then tonight I am filming a special episode with World Hoppers. I don't know if you've heard of World Hoppers, but they're this charity channel that talks about fantasy and stuff. It's started by L Brooks, and all the proceeds from the channel go to charity, which is really cool. Um, and they have a group of core four people, but then they rotate through um, with other like sub genres of fantasy. And so um, we're going to do something for fantasy romance since it is, you know, since it is February. Wow. I just totally blanked on what that means. So I don't know if that episode will like be up already by the time this video comes out. If it is, I'll link it. Um, but yeah. Okay. That's enough. We'll talk later. Hey everybody. <clears throat> time to check in for the fantasy reading blog. Um, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to like wrap this one up and make a part one. Um, I wasn't going to do that, but I realized that I've already read so much fantasy and I have so much more to go that there's no need to try to make this super long. Sorry, I have my soundtrack going in the back, even though I know that I said that, but I also said I might change my mind. So I'm probably going to wrap this one up as a part one, but I thought I would end with a little book haul because there is a bunch of books I've been buying because of this readathon and I wanted to show them off. Um, but first an update, I did end up DNFing The Orchid Throne by Jeffy Kennedy, which was kind of sad. Um, today is actually the ninth. And so tonight is going to be one of the live read alongs that I'm hosting. And Jeffy Kennedy is also like going to be on it. So I feel bad. However, I've seen through the month and some of the posts that she's done that she actually has a lot of self-pub books as well that look a little more up my alley um because I'm just not connected with the orchid throne at all like I made it almost halfway in and I'm just not connecting with the two characters and so I need to just I need to move along because it's not working for me so I did finish Aka War last night I just pushed through it I loved it so much like it was so beautiful and the reread was everything that I wanted it to be and more. It was amazing. Um, so what I'm reading today is Aquafas. Um, and I only have like 50 pages left of this. So I'm going to finish that in the next hour or so. 
and then I need to pick a book to be reading for the live show tonight. Um, I, I do also have 30 pages left of Dragon Heartstring, um, which I think I can show a picture of this one. I forget to do that in some um, pictures of these, but I'm reading... Um, this is another Juliet Cross book. I've read a lot of her books recently. I have my interview with her next week, and so I'm trying to get to her favorite series. So see if this shows up good. Yeah. This is the prequel to Veil of Stars. It also connects with her Nightwing series. This character is a character who was kind of sort of a villain. He was an anti-hero. He was a questionable person, and she told me when... I showed her that I was reading this one. She's like, he was a character I just really wanted to redeem. And this one's actually fun because the female is the Morgan. And in all the rest of them, the male is the Morgan. Um, and so I really like that because um, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. It's pretty epic. And then she is an ice wing. So she's an ice dragon and she's a healer. Um, and this is a prequel. Yeah, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish... Akafas, and then I'm going to finish this, and then I need to start a book for tonight. And so the options that I'm thinking, and you'll find out in the next vlog what I end up doing, but I either am going to start A Touch of Stone and Snow, because that's a buddy read that I'm doing with Crystal, um, and I'm planning to read that one kind of slowly because I'm going to annotate it this time. I really want to get to Deadly Dreams. This is part of the haul that I was just about to do because I wanted the physical copy of this one. Um, because the ebook just wasn't working for me, but I love the, um, Fortuna Sworn Saga so, so, so much. KJ Sutton is one of the authors for Pharaoh Feb, and I just love this series, and I wasn't connecting when I was reading it on Kindle, like, when it first came out, because this came out over a month ago now. Was it, like, a it might have been the very end of December, so almost two months ago, and I just stopped. I read about 30 pages and it wasn't working for me, so I just stopped because I know that I love these characters in this world. And so the light is bugging me. I hate when it, there we go. And I was like, nope, we're just going to wait because I don't want, I never want to push myself through the next installment in a book I love if it's not going to work for me. Um, oh my gosh, look at the back has a wolf on it. So this is an option. Um, I could get started on this one. I could start a touch of stone and snow. Or I could start Juliet's Veil of Star series and read the first full book in the series. Um, and I, th I think that might need to be the option because I want to read the Veil of Star series before I interview her. And I want to get it done before, um, before A Court of Silver Flames comes out because I know... I'm planning to read that all in one sitting, which is definitely possible. I have taken a sick day. I'll write, no, it's not a sick day. Like I literally am taking a vacation day to read that because I don't go on vacations where we live right now. So it's not a big deal to do that. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And I just want to get these out of the way. And I want to read her books because she said that is a fan favorite is her Veil of Star series. And I'm in love with the Morgans. Like, I am obsessed with them. And so, yeah. So I think I might do that. Now let's go through the books I just want to haul real quick. And you've probably seen some of these on my Insta already. But, yeah, I just got this one. I'm going to do a photo for Insta with all three of them because they're absolutely beautiful. I love that she almost looks like a tree. And just, it's fantastic. Then, um, so I'm a member of Katie Roberts' Patreon. There was this little, like, faux pas thing that happened where, or not a faux pas, but like a mix-up. So for a while, Katie was going to try to do a subscription box. And so I upped my plan to be a part of the subscription box. And you were going to get her books that were released as well as um, some swag and stuff. Well, then with COVID... COVID and shipping and everything, she ended up canceling doing the box. And so I was then, I rejoined up at the paperback level, which means that I get her paperbacks, all her new paperbacks. But in between there, I missed a couple because I was on the one tier. And so I missed a couple. So one of the books I missed was Sacrifice. 
I will be getting air from her and I got able from her but this was the one I missed in the in-between months so I ordered myself a copy of this one really you guys once all three of these are out they should be read like as one thing because if there is a critique I would make about Katie Robert is that her books are so short and I know that there's a reason for that because she's really able to pump them out but there is a lot about them that's a lot alike and then when they're short like this like I love this story I don't like reverse harems that stuff is weird to me but I freaking like this story and they're so short and I've already read air I got to read an advanced copy of it I think air is out now too but they're just so fucking short and if there was one thing I could change it would be like either just put these all together in one or flesh it out because this story is so good to me like I really like it and it's just too quick so especially for like a reverse harem when you have four people and you're telling their story in this amount it's just it's not enough Katie I'm saying it I'm saying it um but I do love these sexy beats so I'm still, I still love her. So I think I've already shown one of these in a video, but I have books two, three, and four of the Blood Alliance I purchased for myself. I'm so happy. So I have Royally Bitten, Regally Bitten, just gorgeous, and Rebel Bitten. Um, I haven't bought Chasely Bitten yet. Chasely Bitten is my least favorite one in the series, and so I'm going to buy it eventually. But I just wanted these ones the most so gosh I love this world so much they're so beautiful and then this book I've already read and reviewed and I will be talking about it in this weekly wrap-up but um this series has some of the most beautiful books in it like ever um there's only two of them but it is The Stray Prince by Ella Field so this is the sequel to A King So Cold which is such a great romantic fantasy like it's just so good mm -hmm. and so I'm so happy to have this set now um, and I really liked this as a wrap-up it broke my heart and put it back together again it was absolutely amazing I need to try reading some of her other books but I'm afraid of them so there you go so that was a mini haul at the end of this I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this reading vlog and then this will be a part one and we'll have a second part that I'll start soon. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you're having a great Pharaoh Feb. I hope you are finding some new authors you haven't read before. And yeah, I'll see ya. I'll see you in the next one.